Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and we are back for the third and final part of Dark Deception. Now, I am actually recording this video after completing the final stage because, as you'll remember from the last video, stage two continued right into stage three. So, yeah, we're going to be playing the Mama Bear stage in today's video. It's an absolute wild ride. I don't want to um, hold you up any longer, so let's just dive straight in and experience the grand finale to Dark Deception Chapter 4. I'll be taking your little puppet as well. Oh no. The Mama Bear stage. We're gonna get sucked in. And here we go, straight in to the Mama Bear stage, guys. Ah, that's better. She can't interfere here. No more lucky breaks, mortal. Fate has finally caught up with you. Time for you to join this is insane. Your family permanently. <clears throat> join our family. I'm gonna let you guys watch this. Look around. I'm gonna be quiet. Do you even know where you truly are? You mortals have always believed in the existence of heaven and hell. It's a rather quaint and amusing concept. There is a dark dimension. All evil souls eventually gather there and wage war to become the ultimate evil. This place and my realm are a part of it. You've been meddling in my affairs all this time, but I am no ordinary demon. Over countless millennia, I have grown my army and my power with the rivals that I have vanquished and the mortal souls that I have acquired. You could say business has been booming. Bierce was one of those souls. She never told you her little story, did she? A century ago, Bierce offered her soul to me. She wanted to be a movie star, a trite request, but I agreed nonetheless. I just required a tribute from her first, a small offering. <laughs> I gave Beers what she wanted, but when I came to collect, she decided to get cute. She thought she could get out of her contract by using that accursed ring. However, I didn't become an elite evil by letting my guard down. Her little ambush failed. I shattered the ring and took the pieces, but it wasn't enough. One of the pieces formed a bond with Bierce's soul. She used that to seal herself into that annoying little pocket dimension. As if that cage could keep me out forever. In this place, having your power and ring stolen by mortals is not a good look. <laughs> you both made me appear weak and vulnerable. Yeah, we made him look like an idiot. That's bad for business. Now it's time to pay the price. Where's Mama Bear? Is she gonna come out? That's enough chit chat. She's ready now. Yeah, here she is. Let's get this execution started. She looks pretty we? horrible. I'm here. How sweet. You brought a new companion for my babies to play with? Yes, I have. Do they enjoy playing with mortals? Oh, yes. They'll be very excited. This one looks a bit weak, though. Not very lively. They usually last longer if they have a little fight left in them. Lucky and his gang got a little carried away. Not that it matters, dear Malik. My babies always leave very little behind regardless. <sighs> I've told you not to call me that. You know I hate it. But I like it. This mortal soul will be a bit harder to destroy. His time is not up yet. I assume you can handle it. Take your time and make an example out of him. As you command, dear Malik. Gather him up, my babies, and bring him inside. Good. She's gonna feed us Put to our, her little babies. He's like, no, let me go. I have an urgent That's what I'm thinking to too. To. Are the ring pieces secure here for now? Of course, dear Malik. They are quite safe here. Any last words? Uh, please don't do this to me. You'd be the only one that comes to mind right now. I don't think it's gonna do much good though. Look, the teddies are actually carrying us away now. 
We're inside this little cabin. Wait, is that Teddy Bear's picnic? It is, isn't it? It's literally playing Teddy Bear's picnic. Oh. This isn't good. It's not time yet. What the heck is I that? Escape. Ooh, she shocked him. Nice. Who is that? Is that his daughter? Like an orb of his daughter? Or is that like Beerus's ring piece? I don't know. We're in a cabin now, though, guys. We've got Teddy Bear's picnic playing. Let's just talk about what we just saw in that cutscene, though, first. Literally, Malak just revealed that he is building an army, and the place we're in is one of many realms belonging to demons where they all build their own armies to, like, rage war for the ultimate evil. So the story's slightly different than we thought. You know, it's not actually set in the seven circles of hell, or it doesn't seem like it is. In fact, it actually seems a little bit different than that. Also, he explained what happened to Beerus, which confirmed our suspicions about Beerus. Uh, we'd heard that through our audio diaries before. And of course, we've got a lot of backstory to do with Doug as well, you know, like finding out all about what he was up to and the sinister past that he has, like following him around, why he came to this place. It's now time anyway to see where the story goes next, so let's keep going. We're following this orb now. It's a bit like Halo. <laughs> That guilty spark level. Look at this. This is really cool. It's kind of creepy as well. Building blocks. Got to get out of this cabin. Right, lead the way, my little friend, whoever you may be. Oh, look, we're going upstairs. <gasps> look, they're all asleep in this room. Oh, well, not all of them are asleep, actually. I'm backing out of that. We're being guided upstairs. Look, we've got more sleeping teddies in here. Oh, that one's got a little Agatha doll. That's kind of cute. What's around here? Can we go through the door? We can. Nice. Have we escaped? Feels like we haven't, probably. There's 18 shards in this place. Oh. This is kind of creepy. We've got three mama bear suits, three mama bear heads. So what's in the suit? She's got lots of pictures of her little babies there, though. Aw, and lots of little plushies on the bed. Okay. Let's keep going. Saving progress. I think we're getting into a zone now, right? Oh my god. There's already little bears running after us. I haven't got any powers. Are you kidding me? What the heck? I've got no powers, guys. What the heck is this? Okay, this is the level layout, at least. Oh, no. We got got already. Is that really the best you can do? This is going to be really hard if we've got to do the whole level without, like, um... Without any powers. Yeah, this is going to be tough. Right, there's one there. I don't even know where we're meant to be headed. We've got, like, no assistance here. Oh, no, we've got one there. Wow, this is going to be insanely hard. Okay, guys, this is just me recording after I completed this stage. I've added this in. This is actually how this section is meant to play out. But in the early copy that I got hold of, there was this bug where all the bears were always walking about and it made it, like, way harder than it needed to be. They're actually all meant to be asleep and it's really easy just to sneak past them in the final version of the game. So if you hear me complaining about, like, dying loads at the start, it was because originally these bears were all chasing me constantly and it was, like, stupidly hard, like, almost impossible possible to get through but I'll throw back to my original playthrough now all right we're doing well this time can we make it just avoid this one there's a door there's a door we're out there's we made it close by. This way. man that was hard okay let's go let's go a ring piece this way are we gonna get our powers back like one by one as we go through the level maybe let's just follow the lights here we go Okay, walk, so we don't it's wake the bears. Find it. There's a lot of boxes to look through. Okay, let's get looking, guys. Um, 
Okay. Oh, here's the ring piece. That was easy. What now? What happened? It seems he escaped. How is that possible? Without Malik is not ring happy. Pieces, he won't get far. My babies will find him. This mortal has an infuriating talent for finding ring pieces. Now that he's loose, he will try to find them again. What are you going to do about it? The ring pieces are well hidden. He'll never find them. Tell me, did you put one of the ring pieces in your attic? <laughs> yes, one Oops. of them is in the attic. We just collected it. How did you it? know? Because he's already there, and he's watching us. <laughs> I guess I'll deal with him now, then. Good. See that you do. Do oh, not no. fail me. I want his soul torn apart and presented to me as a trophy on my desk. Thank you, dear Malik. Leave everything to me. Babies, go and greet our guest. Did you forget that now I see what you see? I might be away. But I'm still in your head. Surely if he can see what we see, then he should have just intercepted us. He's over here! Oh no. Can we drop down a hole? Oh, what a cute teddy bear. Why not? Oh, we've got the um, disappearing ability. I can't remember what it's called, the, clo the vanish ability. You're a dead man. So now we can vanish from the bears. So that's really good. Okay, good. So now we just need to collect all all the shards up. Um, I'm just gonna wait around until we can use that vanish ability again. Oh, there's one there. Right, I'm gonna use it again now. We're gonna keep just sneaking about. So the bears cannot see us when we use Vanish. Ooh, there was one right there. Okay, we've got to go. Oh no, we got got. I was trying to avoid them then. That was actually really hard. There's literally only like 16 shards in this area or something. Right, we need to wait until it recharges now. And then push forward a little bit more. This is like completely different to how we're trained to play Dark Deception. Instead of rushing about and trying to like cause havoc, we're actually having to sneak about. It's like a stealth mission. I feel like this is probably going to be my least favourite level in the whole game because I hate stealth stuff usually. Unless it's done like really well like Metal Gear. But we'll see how I get on I guess. No, there's one right there. What are you doing? How are you even meant to get that? Let's go this way. We've got to stay quiet again now and wait for our power to recharge. And then we'll push on again. Come on, fill up. Okay. Right, we've taken that one. Now we're going to take this one. Yoink! Don't mind if uh, we just take these little fellas. Okay, now we go around here. Our power's just run out though. Has he seen us? I feel like it might have seen us. Just let it fill up again. Let's not rush this now. Come on. Come on, fill up. And... There. Nice. Oh. No, don't come this way. Do not come this way. We did it. Back into the safety of the cabin. Oh! The bear is coming to get you. That actually scared the hell out of me. What the... F Guys, that is not funny, man. We made it back. Okay. Good. I don't like that there's little cages there, you know? That's kind of weird. Can we just get out of this hellhole now? 
Just sneak around so we don't wake any of the little uh, baby bears up. What's in this room? We've got a little uh, TV. Is this like a cartoon on the TV? Yeah. There's a little classic cartoon on there. That's kind of cute. There's little duckies in there. Ooh, nice. Is this like another secret area or is this somewhere we're meant to go? It's oh. open now. Don't worry. He doesn't know I'm here. Okay, we can go now. Down here? And out of the house, maybe? I don't know. I don't know where we're going now, guys. Following that orb. And it's all knowing power. Ooh, in the basement now, are we? Yeah. Well, don't let me stop you. By all means, keep going. Nothing scary about that hole. Go on. Step in. Man, we're going into the caves now. And we've got one power. This is eerie. Man, look at this place. I'm gonna so run. Many tunnels. Don't get lost. Yeah, let's see how big. Oh, we haven't even got a map yet. I was gonna say, let's see how big the map is. We haven't even got one. This is feeling super creepy. This stage. I think this is like probably one of the scariest stages yet. Look at this place. Woo! Wow, that's a big drop. Guessing we don't want to fall down there. Or do we? I don't know. It looks like it's the only way down. Do we drop down? Yep, we do. Somehow, in this world... We've got a secret as well. Yeah, somehow in this world, um, Doug doesn't break his legs when he's dropped from like 50 feet height. We've still got no map. I really hope we get a map at least. Like, how brutal does this game want to become? Okay, we've got a crossroad here by the look of it. Oh no, that's uh, blocked. Only one way then. Mama Bear's back. No. These are the tunnels. Why the rush? Please, stay for dinner. No. Okay, Mama Bear's Stop brought it. her bait. Whoa, she's running at us straight away. Okay, can I uh, go invisible? Those are my powers. Hopefully she can't see us if we just go invisible. <laughs> just keep running. It's a bit of a mess right now. I hope you oh, she's still after us. Okay, keep going. Ooh, another ring piece. Another power. You won't Take it. That's three of them. A cave in. Your luck is unbelievable. Ooh, that was close. Mama Bear is. Not getting through that, I don't think. I don't think even Mama Bear is strong enough for that. Look at this place, though. We've got this giant waterfall. We've got cages. Probably for hanging humans in. Malik's uh, victims go in there before he tortures them. Why not just throw yourself in and get it over? Nah, I'm fine, Malik. I'm not going to throw myself down there. So what ability have we got now? Oh, we've got the blast ability. Nice. We can't go this way yet because we don't have... Um, like teleport. Wait, unless can we use the blast ability on these? Yes, we can. Nice. Okay. So with our two abilities, we're going to uh, venture into these caves and um, collect 306 shards. By the look of it. Wish me luck, guys, because this is going to be tough. I think. Here we go. <laughs> Oh, wait, maybe I can walk around because the bears can't actually see us when we walk and we're cloaked. I wonder what Let's go this way. Those got a hold of me. Oh, no. They're chasing me now. we got to run. It's time for running now. Quick. Quick. There we go. Is that oh, really what? The best so, oh, something got me then. I don't know what it was. I just used my special ability. Don't let him 
find the other ring pieces. Those are my powers! So, I'm using them now, Malik. Screw you. I wonder what would happen if those got a hold of you. There's Mama Bear over there. It's gonna run from her. I wonder how many, like, trigger teddies are in here. This is really cool, though, this cave system. It looks, like, awesome. Do, like, little bears come out of these, like, tunnels, I wonder, as well? Is anyone behind us? We got a little teddy behind us. Those are my powers. Malik hates us using these powers. You know what? I don't care. They're my powers now. We're gonna use them. Oh. It sounds like Malik's in the tunnels, but I don't know if he is. It's like a breathing sound. I don't know what it is. I don't like it. Oh, there's Mama Bear over there. Man, she is so freaky where she just stands there, like, eerily. What's in these holes as well? I'm sure little bears might come out of those holes. Can't get that for now. So I'll come back for it later. Oh, no. Gone invisible. Surrounded by incompetence. <laughs> Malik's really stressing it at the moment. He's just like, Mama Bear, do your job for God's sake. There we go. Nice. Now let's get out of here. Let's keep going. As long as we have some kind of idea of where Mama Bear is, I think it kind of like makes the level not too like insanely hard the start was like the hardest part you know where we had to sneak I've got invisible what? again now no Agatha you can't also look stop annoying <laughs> me I'm busy yeah we've got all of the little bears behind us so it's kind of good because it means in theory, none of them should be able to, like, sneak up on us now. And hopefully we can just go around here, collect all these shards, like this. Oh no. We've gone in invisible again, though. Right, come on, guys, we've got to go around here. I think, because you can damage the teddies, can't you? You can blow them up like bombs. They actually hurt Mama Bear too when you do that. So it's good to like get a few of them clustered around Mama Bear and then like blow them up and it actually damages Mama Bear as well. Those are my power. There we go. Screw you, Malik. I oh no, she's there. We'll go this way round. This isn't too hard now. When I first started this stage and it was like insanely difficult. I was a bit worried. Um, oh, is this another ring piece? Yeah. Wait. Yes. Guys, we've now got another ring piece. Nice. There we go. So now we've got our magnet ability. We can just suck all the shards together. You're boring. We've got to try and find all the ring pieces on this level, then, obviously. Those are my powers. Wow, you can see how many um, bears are chasing us on the screen at the moment, though, guys. I love that magnet ability. It's so good. Ooh, stun orb. I'll take that. Enemy stunned. Yes, thank you. Oh, it didn't stun them, though. Wow. For some reason, it does not stun for babies. Good job. Okay, let's keep going. Let's keep it going. We're not doing too badly, guys. We're not doing too badly. 
I don't know if I've had a death since getting to this area. I think I had one, didn't I? Wait, why did he say die then? I don't know. Into this area. There's more there. Oh my god! There's Those teddies right there. Powers. Wow, that was so close. I literally felt all of the teddies just blow up behind me then. I need to find the other powers that are in this area. It should be just like lying around. This is where it gets harder though, of course, because they're able to corner us easier the less shards there are. Nice, that worked. Just use our disappearing ability. And we're gonna keep going, guys. We're gonna run around here now. Oh, we've got a better trap though. Can I go around that? Yes. Sweet. Collect all those shards, nice. Only 46 remain. Not going too badly. Oh. You don't like bear hugs. I don't know what happened then. But I blew I think I blew up a bear too close to myself or something. Either way, guys, we're doing fine. We're doing just fine here. I wonder what would happen if those got a hold of you. Because we've only got 41 shards to collect. So yeah, I'm quite happy with how it's going so far. I'm guessing there's going to be like another zone after this, probably. I don't know, but I would assume so. Alright, here we go. Only 28 to go, and we can get out of these spooky ass caves. I hate Mama Bear, she looks so freaky, man. Gonna destroy that last little bear. I'm gonna go invisible and I'm gonna equip um, the magnet ability. There we go. 15 left. I think we've got this. I'm confident. I'm confident. Right, here we go. Look 14, 13. 12. Oh, that was so close. Come on, let's get the last 11. Here we go. Nice. Just two more here. And then... Where are the last couple? I'm going to go invisible. The last couple, I think, they're in this room. They're up here. The last three, come on. Here we are. That's one. In fact, screw it, we'll just suck them in like that. Oh! Okay, I didn't expect the bears to still be alive when we got all the shards, but they were. Find the entrance to zone three, so yeah, there is a third zone. I'm going to be invisible and hopefully find this zone entrance. Oh, is it this way? Yeah, it must be the other way from like this giant um, sort of central area here with a waterfall. So peaceful here, I love it. It's like really nice and calm. Okay, so which way to zone 3? It seems to be this way, leading us into this tunnel here. Hopefully we can get the rest of our powers back in zone 3, because so far we've only got 3 powers. Down the ladder we go. Okay. Right. Man, it's full of explosive stuff again. Now I've got you. Mama's coming. No. Okay, what do I do? 
Oh my god, there's a giant hand that comes out of these holes. Can I go invisible? Do I have to like... I think I must have to do something to destroy it, right? Oh, is that another one of my powers? No, it's just a rock. <laughs> do we have to throw the rock at her head or something? Ooh, that was close. What do we do with rocks? Do we hit more there in the head with it? Ah! Come on, Mama Bear, show your head. I want to hit you with this rock. Oh, she's... Yeah, we've got another rock. I just want to share my love with you. There you go, hit her. Nice. Now let's get the other rock. So yeah, this is what we have to do, guys. We have to smack Mama Bear's head with this rock. It's a bit brutal. Oh, that was too close. Okay, we're well away from that one. Where is she then? Where's Mama Bear? I'm going to sit in the center so we can always get a good um, sort of view of her. It, oh, okay. She didn't come out this time. Her hands came out instead. My hands come out again. Oh no, we've got Trigger Teddy now. Oh no! Oh. Blown up by a teddy bear, what a way to go. Right, so when the hand comes out, we've got to avoid it. We've got to wait till there's a rock getting like spewed out of one of these holes. And then when that happens, we go and hit Mama Bear with it. We also have to contend with the um, trigger teddies though that sometimes come out of the holes as well. If they come out, we have to blow them up before they get too close. So it's like a multi-tiered boss Mama fight. Here's Mama Bear. <laughs> Ugh. Back in your hole, Mama Bear. Come on. Show yourself, Mama Bear. Now I've got you. Time for a bear hug. Come here. Yes. Simply we got a Nice. To Man, it's that took me about seven or eight attempts. So I don't know how much of that I'll leave in, guys. So I'm going to make you an offer. If somehow, despite my best efforts to kill you, you still manage to survive and complete the ring. It yes. would be in your best interest to just hand it over to me anyway. Why? Because I'll match and exceed Beers' offer. I'll let you go, and I'll give you that new life you want so badly. Deal. I'll even make you young and rich. Instant with your deal. wife and daughter exactly as you wish they could be. Everything you ever wanted for as long as you live. I'll After take it. Oh no, I, I, re I renege the uh, it's a better deal acceptance of your deal. I promise you that. Think about it, if you survive. Yeah, Malik just offered us that deal then, and I was like tempted, I was thinking like, yeah, you know, like, if he's gonna let us basically have our family back, have a, a happy life again, get out of this place for the ring pieces, then sure, I'll go ahead with it. Then he said, in return for your soul, and it was like an instant, like, no. <laughs> Just, no, I'm not doing that. Ooh, okay. So we're in a, what looks to be literally hell. Look at those souls in the sky, like the faces there. It's going up like clouds. We've got little bears here. Can I sneak past them? Ooh, Ugh, those ones are like zombie ones, and they've got the ring pieces. They've run off with our ring pieces. Okay, so we have to get our ring pieces back. 306 shards to collect. It says collect all shards and find the ring piece. Okay. Let's get going then. The ring piece was fake. That doesn't sound good. Oh no, Mom the Bear's there. Okay. I'm going to turn invisible I'm going to sprint off. At least we've got our sprint ability, though. 
which is good. And we've got 288 shards to collect. So let's get going. This place looks awesome. This place looks really cool. Like, visually, it's amazing. And um, I love the, like, brooding music. Those are my We've got Mama Bear after us. What's our sprint? Give me our sprint. Those are my Quick. Sprint away. Yes. Okay. Those are my powers. Man, that was nuts. I actually thought we were going to get caught then. Mama Bear was like chasing us suddenly out of nowhere. Yeah, it didn't look good for a second there. Die! What do you mean die, Malik? What are you saying die to? Is he just like shouting at us now? He's getting really sort of annoyed now, isn't he? Really pissy with us. Because we're sort of foiling his evil schemes. I want to actually have my sprint on key one. I'd always like to have my sprint ability on there. Here we go, just those suck those shards up. Ooh, this is cool. What is this, like some old relic or something? It's like sitting out of Dead Space. Actually looks like the marker from Dead Space. I wonder if that's like a little Easter egg. Right, I'm gonna sprint through here. Magnet ability, love it. Gotta love the magnet ability. Can we see down? Just avoid into nothing. Surrounded by incompetence. There's a little like rickety bridge here as well. I just want to cross that. We're on fire. A hundred soul shard streak. I'm not gonna set that trap off. I'm just gonna use our magnet. Keep going. Oh no, we ran out of sprint before we got to this um, sort of blocked off area. You know what, I'll go back while we're waiting for it to refill and I'll use my magnet here. Just suck up the shards. There we go. And I'll sprint this way and go through here. Boom. Nice. We've got our invisibility recharging what? at the moment. No, Agatha, you can't also look. Stop annoying. <laughs> That's funny, Malik's like telling her Agatha off because she's trying to look for our eyes too. So far, I haven't seen any of the bears with the ring pieces we need, which is a little unfortunate for us. I'll charge through this in a sec. Get that. Collected half the shards. Ooh, nice. How we have got half the shards. Alive. Thank you for keeping count, Malik. Appreciate it. You're boring. Oh no! Okay, let's go invisible. Those are my powers. Oh no. Come on. Alright, we can't go that way, guys. Those are my powers. Ooh, all this way, all this way, all this way. Those are my powers. Right, we blew them all up. I feel like Mama Bear's like right behind us, so. Uh, let's go this way. Let's go around the outside. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Ba -dum I love how brooding the music sounds as well. It's like really kind of like slow, but like creepy. Mama Bear is behind us again. I'm not finding this level as hard as like the Joy Joy level and worry, the Nurse I level outside the stealth sequence at the start and the boss fight, which was really tough. But the actual stages aren't too hard. The actual zones are, which is good. And it's kind of cool how we're like slowly getting our powers back. Like piece by piece we're just getting them back. Kind of makes us, well it makes me realize like when I'm playing this game like how weak we were at the start of the game and how far we've come and, and how powerful we've become as we've played it. 
just die. Oh no, Mama Bear's right there. Wait, I've got an idea. Boom. Screw you, Mama Bear. Look at her. She's like, ah. Anyway, no time to admire Mama Bear. It's time to get out of here. Hopefully I can reach this before our speed boost runs out. Oh no! Not quite. It's alright, we got the sucky sucky magnet. Let's keep going. 80 shards left. We still need to find the ring piece too though. I'm just going to go invisible again. Burst through here. Ooh, is this a secret? Yay, it's a secret! Ooh, nice! What is this? March 4th, 1963. Dougie is eight now. So this is by Doug's mother. I wonder if Mama Bear's gonna tie into being like about Doug's mother because that's like a theory I've had for a long time as well. Anyway, she says, Dougie's eight now. I shouldn't hate him, but I can't help it. Every day he looks more and more like his father. He acts and sounds more and more like him too. He used to be so sweet and cute, but now when I look at him, all I see is that miserable bastard's face. It makes me sick to my stomach that I'm raising him by myself while he's out there enjoying his life with some tramp somewhere. Life is never fair. So basically, Doug's father was much like how Doug turned out. You know, Doug was always running off with his secretary having that affair and leaving his wife to look after Tammy. The other day, he dropped one of his glasses in the kitchen. Such a simple thing, but it instantly filled me with an uncontrollable rage. I locked him in a closet as punishment, mainly so that I wouldn't beat him. He begged me to let him out and said that the dark scared him. The other mothers would be shocked to hear me say it, but I enjoyed hearing him beg. I left him in there for hours. He eventually stopped crying. Maybe I never had any maternal instincts to begin with. That thought doesn't bother me so much anymore. Now all that I can think every day is that I should have listened to my mother. When he was born she told me to give him up and I didn't listen. She told me not to marry his father and I didn't listen to that either. I should have listened. I was such a foolish girl. There were so many things I could have done, so many dreams I might have fulfilled. Now I'm trapped and time just keeps going by faster and faster. Yeah, and Doug's mother was like him too, because this is exactly what Doug was saying in the note in chapter 3, if you remember, about his own family. When I look at myself in the mirror, I can see my age start to set in. I'm not as young as I once was, and raising him is wasting what little youth I had left. I spent every moment either working to provide for him or taking care of him. It never ends. I feel like I can't breathe. I also can't abandon him even if I wanted to. It's against the law after all. Not to mention that once word got around, I'd be a pariah in the community. They'd all judge me and cast me out. Of course, nobody judged him for leaving. No, not him. He's a man. His buddies probably gave him high fives and cheap cigars to celebrate. Meanwhile, I'm stuck here with this brat. Being a single mother is hard. For now, all I can do is make him suffer every now and then. He can suffer as I have suffered. So a sinister note there guys and really connecting the dots in the story and learning why Doug turned out the way he did and why this story has occurred to begin with so yeah this is really really cool. Anything else in here? Ooh what's this? February 11th 1960. Happy birthday my little Dougie. Five years old you're getting so big. Do you know how much I love you? I'm so sorry that I can't be there to spend time with you. Things are hard right now so mommy has to work. Don't feel sad though, today is your birthday and mommy left you a surprise. Look downstairs in the kitchen, I brought you a new friend. He'll keep you company whenever I'm not around. I'll see you when I get home sweetheart, always remember that I love you. Love you forever and ever, from mom. And it's a teddy bear, that's Doug's teddy bear with all the nails in it. So that's why mama bear is represented as a teddy bear. And we've even got another note here which is from 1981 in October. And I think this is from Doug, because it says, we've been married for almost two years, but I've yet to meet Doug's mother. Oh no, this is from Doug's wife. So she's referencing Doug's mother. She wasn't at our wedding and she's never come to visit, not even for the birth of our daughter, Tammy. Recently, Doug finally landed a job at a famous law firm in Manhattan. He didn't even tell her about it. I don't think Doug would allow her to visit, even if she tried. It makes me feel a bit sad and angry, but he won't ever talk to me about her. Does he not trust me? Is he keeping secrets from me? 
he won't even talk about his mother around me, which is extremely strange. You'd barely even know that he has a mother, the way he avoids mentioning her. My first thought was that he had some kind of buried mommy issues to deal with. That made me extremely curious, so I did a little digging. I was able to find some information about her from Doug's private medical records. Apparently, she lives near a large house farm in central Pennsylvania. I might go to see her. Honestly, what kind of a man doesn't introduce his wife to his own mother? What is he so afraid of? Maybe there's something about him that she knows that he doesn't want me to know. I lost control of my emotions a few times and we've had a few big fights. He's been acting differently ever since Tammy was born. I need to know. So this is really cool. So this tells us like that Doug's wife did a bit of digging of her own. And obviously, I mean, she was with him till 92, I think. So this is like 11 years before Doug tampered with his wife's car and caused her death. But yeah, lots of information, story information in this chapter. And now we've got Mama Bear back. So I'm going to use our invisibility and skirt that trap. Suck up the orbs. We need to find this ring piece as well. We've got some bears there, so I'm going to go down here. Just boost to safety. I feel like we haven't died yet on this level, which is really cool. But maybe I'm uh, forgetting a death. Oh no! Those are my powers. Boom! Screw you! That's how we do it. See, I'm not finding this stage too hard. I'm actually kind of—I've got the rhythm down to what we're meant to do. We go invisible; they can't see us. Oh, there's one right there, though. I think I'm getting too cocky saying that I've got got this uh, sort of down. Because every time I say it, we almost die. So I'm going to keep quiet. In regards to proclaiming an early victory, because I just died. So close, yet so well. Rip run. It was good while it lasted. Wait, Mama Bear's come in. Okay, round here then, and around here. And let's just boost out. And go invisible. There we go. Okay, let's try and find the bear with the shard that we need. Oh no! We didn't get more. Ooh, there's loads, there's loads, there's loads, there's loads, there's loads, there's loads. I need to go invisible again. Ah! Speed boost! You're boring. Yes. Nice, we actually escaped. Brilliant. What? No, Agatha, you can't also look. Ooh, more, Stop annoying. more I'm... shards here. Just go invisible. I need to find that bear with a ring piece. Where is it? Go this way. Let's just make sure that if we see him, we can blast him. Oh, I can hear some pattering. Oh, but it's not the good kind. It's not the kind we're looking for. Boom. We blew her up with it. Almost fell off a bridge as well, then. Right. Some bears there, but not one holding a shard. Is Mama Bear coming for us? The teddies are almost there. Oh, that was too close. The teddies almost got us. It was like two teddies then. I mean, you guys saw it, right? They were like almost pinning us to the wall. Those are my powers. Oh, there's another one. That was really close. Let's just boost away from all this nonsense. Two more shards here. We've only got four left. But unfortunately, I can't seem to find the final bear with the ring piece. Our map is saying to go this way. 
maybe we should just follow that little um, thing on our map. I hate this. I keep almost dying. It's really annoying. Do your job. Oh no. Let's go invisible. Those are my powers. Let's go invisible and go this way. So many bears everywhere. Teddy bears, I'll never look at them the same way again. Got, Got all, all the shards, shards now. Don't get cocky. There's still a way out for you. We need the ring piece. Okay, we've just blown her up. There's the ring piece, it's over there. But unfortunately, there's bears everywhere, so I can't get it. There it is. Don't you dare Take it. Touch that. Right, we've done it. What? What's the thing we just picked up as well? I think it's telepathy. I think we got our telepathy back. So back we go to zone two. And hopefully we can wrap this up now and escape Mama Bear's lair. Now, you're not going to pop back out of these holes, are you, Mama? Hopefully not. I don't think we've done too bad on this level. The stealth section at the start got us good, but after that, we haven't done too badly. <laughs> I mean, we've had many deaths, but still, you know, it could have been worse, right? <gasps> There's the ring altar. Where have you been my whole life, ring altar? Oh, I can't do anything with it. It's missing its top piece. Okay. This way, maybe? Are you sure you want to go that way? No, I'm not sure I want to go this way, but I have no other option. So, oh, that's a long drop. Don't feel like we can really go down that way. Unless we can, I mean, he fell down before and he was okay. Should we just try jo dropping down? Whoa! Bad choice, mortal. Oh, we actually can fall down here. This doesn't feel good. Look at all the bones on the ground. This must be like... All the people that Mama Bear has eaten over the years, there's like thousands of bodies. It's like a catacomb. There's a ring piece close by. Before I go, with these ring pieces, I can break his hold on you. Yes, please do. Yes, ooh, nice. How unexpected. It seems the ring's power is dissolving my marking. Well, it was amusing, but I guess our time together is up. Don't worry. I'll be by to collect your corpse later. You'll never escape this place. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, um, I beg to differ, Malak. So I'm going to go on an escape now. Although this is really creepy. I think I just saw Mama Bear, guys. Yep. There she is. Hello. She's just dived in the pit of is that acid? I don't know what it's meant to be. Okay. Looking for this? Yes, I am actually. Is that the You've final ring piece? Trouble. I can't let you go any further. I think that's you our teleportation. You my happy home and destroyed many of my precious babies. You will undo everything. Like Beers, you are an abomination. I can never let you return to her. This place will be your grave. Um. What the hell is this? Like, what am I even supposed to do here? I'm gonna get some abilities on the go. Can I shock? I can't even shock you guys. Like, I literally have no idea what to do here. We got a teddy as well. We got another teddy. We really need to be able to blow up these teddies. I think we maybe use the teddies to blow her up. No. Oh, she's coming from that way. Okay. Boom. Blow up the teddies. Yes, we knocked her in the water. Or whatever it is. We got her. Oh, and she got us. I wasn't ready for her to do that straight away. <laughs> okay. That was my bad. So we want to wait. Until the baby bears can be blown up next to her now. She goes back in the pool and we rinse and repeat. And that is the boss, I think. 
Wow. Just keep running. Just keep running. Just keep running. Oh, no. We're gonna go into the holes. Oh no, we haven't. I thought we had to go into the holes in the wall to avoid the hands, but it doesn't seem like we do have to do that. Let's just keep going. Oh my god, this is nuts. This is an insane boss. Oh, she's back out the pool. Alright, she's back out the pool. Where's those little teddy bears when you want them? Over there. Of course they are. The opposite side. Come on, teddies. Okay, that did not work. That did not work at all. It's alright, we've got this. Let that mama bear come over. Just avoid the teddies. Avoid the teddies. Oh, there's so many now. Okay, wow. Too many teddies. Too many teddies! Too many teddies, please! Boost! Okay, let the... I'm going to bring them back over. Now I'm going to move out of the way. I'm going to blow them. Yes, it works. Okay. What's she going to do now? Oh, she's still trying to blow us up. Well, smash us, I should say. Okay, what does she do now? Same attack. Okay, that's fine. We'll just move around. Not too bad, this one. Okay, we need to move a little faster, I think, actually. There we go. She's back out. Oh, she's become a spiky ball. Of course she has, because why not, you know? Why not? Oh, God. She's so fast. Is that I don't know how we avoid that. Okay, so she's going to come round. Wait until she gets closer. And then use the speed boost to escape her. Oh, come on, please. All right, we made it that time. Nice. That was horrible. What's she doing now? Oh, she's doing that move again. Okay. So I'm just going to do my speed boost again. I hope she doesn't do two lots of a spike ball, otherwise I might have mistimed this. Look at it go, though. <laughs> Her arms just made out of balls. Reminds me of those like, old Sega Mega Drive games where you had the characters with arms made out of balls, if you guys remember those, like Vector Man and stuff. She's doing two of them, I've just realised. She's done a, a two and one. So that's to use another speed boost. Alright, now she's back out. Oh, okay. So now her teddies are going to come back out, I think. Come on, teddies. Come on. Boom. We got her again. Oh, we got Dear her. Malik, that was it. Forgive me. Oh. Well, I forgive you. Now rest in peace. And our final piece of a ring shard. Wow, okay, that was uh, quite a hectic level, guys. At least Mama Bear won't be after us anymore, though, I guess. Oh, yeah, we got teleportation, haven't we, now? Our final ability is back. Good to know. I wonder if Malik's going to chase us at the end of this level. I would sort of say that's uh, a good bet, right? She's back! What the heck? Go! Those are my um, okay, what abilities do we have? Maybe you need this explosive ability. Blow up those bears. Boom. I'm going to switch back to this. Make myself invisible. And I'm also going to pick up the teleportation ability. Those are my there we go. I think we made it. Okay, we made it, guys. It's time to escape. We crawled out of that hole. We're out of the cave. And the whole cabin seems to be, like, shaking about. So, um, I guess we need to get out of it, right? I've had enough of caves and cabins for one day. 
There's bears. Let's go this way. Oh! I'm guessing we want to avoid those, right? Through here? Did we make it? Are we out in the forest? We are out in the forest. Beas, open the portal. Beas! It's open! Escape! Let's go! We made it! Yes, we finally did the level. 34 lives lost. Most of those lives lost, to be fair, was on that little stealth sequence at the start and on the two bosses. 34 deaths, you know, I'll take it. Um, I don't know if some of the other stats are quite correct. I, I think this end screen can sometimes be a bit sort of funny with uh, how it like tracks stuff. Anyway, let's continue and see where the story goes next, I guess. Here's Beas. Is she okay? You're alive. So are you. Are you alive? Um, because I'm a fighter? I thought Malak had taken you for good. And the ring pieces. <laughs> if that's what you she really cares back. about. <laughs> the oh, ring pieces. I can kiss you. Uh, I'm good, thanks, Pierce. Not that I'm going to. Don't good. get your hopes up. No, I'm not. Trust me. Also, don't worry about me. I I'm fine. I'm not flesh and blood, remember? No matter what torment Malak inflicts on me, I will heal. He cannot destroy me. He can only enslave me for all eternity. Only enslave her for all of eternity. I feel like being destroyed is sort of preferable to that, to be honest. Hmm. I can see in your eyes that he told you something. Was it about me? Um, yes. Malak told you what I did, didn't he? That I'm trapped here. That I cheated him. Well, so what? He's a demon! I'm not proud of what I did. I lived in an era that was full of cruelty, and I was consumed with my desire for stardom in order to escape it. And that desire led me down a dark path. Yeah, well, uh, I don't think most people can cope without, like, sacrificing children and making deals with demons and stuff, so I haven't really got much sympathy for you, to be honest, Beers. Surely you can understand that, right? I just said I, I don't understand it. Malak wants our souls. I just want to get out of here. And I meant what I said when I told you I'd give you a new life. I will have that power. You've seen what I can do with just a few of the ring pieces. Just two more pieces of the ring, and we both get what we want. Glad to have you back. Glad to be back, Beas. Kind of. I'm not sure. Hey, everything's back to normal. No more fires and destruction. And there is the next portal, guys. Beas isn't really saying anything to us. I don't know. Either way, guys. We can go through the next portal and um, probably wrap this up, I guess. End chapter. And this looks like it's going to be a mannequin in chapter 5 we're going to have to face off against. It's an odd looking mannequin because it's got like a triangle for a head. So we'll see how they look, I guess, when chapter 5 comes out. And there we go, guys. That was my playthrough of Dark Deception Chapter 4. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was really, really fun going through this chapter. By far the most ambitious and biggest chapter yet. It really blew me away how Glowstick was able to achieve this with, I think, like a three or four man team. You know, it feels almost like a AAA game at points. I think it's by far Dark Deception's best chapter overall, and if this is any indication of where things will go in the future with the franchise, I think we have good things in store. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me play through it, and if you did, remember to stay tuned soon for story analysis, Monsters Explained videos, and a look at all the secrets found within these levels that I'm sure we missed on our first playthrough. I want to give a massive shout out to Glowstick Entertainment for providing me an early copy of this game, and once again, if you did see any bugs during this playthrough, which there were a few, remember this is because it's an early copy of the game, and those will be ironed out by launch. With all that said though, I'm going to sign out now guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video today. If you did, remember to leave me a like, comment down below, and of course subscribe for more videos just like this one, and I'll see you all on the next one.